This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the operating manual and internal company procedures. The Safety Stopper is a gas-free tool designed to increase worker safety by getting away from blowing gas when renewing or abandoning gas service tees. Not only will the Safety Stopper increase worker safety, but it will also save money. A small excavation is required to perform the operation, thereby reducing digging cost. It also eliminates the need for stopple and bypass procedures. The gas-free operation removes the need for personal air supply, saving the cost of bottled air as well as the time it takes for workers to suit up. Since there is not a release of gas into the atmosphere, then there is no wasted service calls from reports of gas odors. This video will provide the operational steps on how to use the Safety Stopper Model 3000 BV to renew or abandon gas service tees with an internal flapper valve, like the ones shown here, operating at a maximum of 60 PSI. To begin, clean all components of the Safety Stopper equipment prior to use. Clean the area of the tee where the beveled O-rings half collars and housing will be positioned, removing all corrosion and scale so that the beveled o-rings will seal properly. Pre-loosen cap with a pipe wrench. Select the correct size beveled o-rings to the T size and place both over the T, one with the bevel side down and the other with the bevel side up. Pull the beveled o-rings together and under the cap. Fit the two half collars under the seals. Place the cap housing over the half collars. Tighten the cap housing assembly equally and alternately using the wrench provided, taking care not to over tighten. Fit the safety strap. Fit the ball valve. Fit pressure test assembly. Fit the T-handle assembly with the correct size cap removal tool onto the shaft by lining up the shaft dimple with the set screw. Tighten with the hex wrench. Do not over tighten. Make sure to lubricate the T-handle shaft with the supplied lubricant. Attach the T-handle assembly onto the ball valve. Push down with two hands to lower the T-handle assembly so the cap removal adapter engages the raised castings on the head of the cap. Begin loosening the cap. When the cap is felt or heard skipping over the threads of the T, the cap is fully removed from the T. Make sure you keep slight downward pressure on the T-handle to prevent the gas pressure from pushing the shaft upwards. Close the ball valve bleed off the excess gas, and remove the T-handle assembly. Fit the viewport. Look through the viewport to ensure the flapper valve is in the T. Attach the flapper removal tool. This tool has a two-leg jaw attachment that inserts behind the flapper ring inside the T. Once the jaws travel through the flapper, turning the shaft clockwise while exerting downward pressure opens the jaw legs, anchoring them behind the ring to allow it to be safely hammered out of the T with the slide hammer.
Remove the slide hammer removal tool with the captured flapper ring. Fit the viewport and use a flashlight to look down through the T to determine if the hole in the main is round and has a smaller diameter than the bore of the T. If it does, then a self-tapping plug can be used to stop the flow of gas. Remove the T-handle from the housing and fit the hex adapter in its place. Push the hex end from inside the housing. Choose the correct size self-tapping plug. Push to fit the self-tapping plug onto the hex adapter. Fully retract the hex adapter into the housing and fasten the assembly onto the ball valve. Fit a socket wrench with a 5 8 socket onto the hex adapter. Push the shaft down with two hands until the plug enters the hole. There will be a positive stop. Turn clockwise. Maintain downward pressure and turn the hex adapter clockwise to tighten the plug into the main hole. The plug will cut its own threads. When moderate resistance is felt, open the bleed valve and continue to tighten until the sound of blowing gas is no longer heard. This means the gas has fully stopped. Retract the hex adapter to above the ball valve and close. If the self-tapping plug is properly inserted, the operation is complete. Renewal or embedment operations can be completed according to company procedures. If a self-tapping plug is not possible, a rubber expansion plug can be inserted below the branch. To do this, choose the correct size expander plug and fasten it to the bayonet mount expander plug insertion removal assembly. Measure the travel needed to expand the expansion plug below the service branch by lining up the lip edge of the expansion plug insertion removal assembly with the lip edge of the ball valve. Push to extend the shaft so the bottom of the plug touches the main. Tighten the depth collar to reference your distance. Fully retract the shaft and fasten the assembly onto the ball valve. Hold the shaft in the fully retracted position with one hand and slowly open the ball valve taking care to prevent the shaft from moving upwards unexpectedly. Push the shaft down to the collar. Simultaneously hold the shaft into position and turn the small T-handle clockwise with two fingers to expand the plug. Tighten until noticeable resistance is felt. Do not over tighten. Open the bleed valve. Once the sound of blowing gas is no longer heard, gas has stopped. Remove the expansion plug insertion removal tool and close the ball valve. Bleed off the excess gas that remains in the service. Fit the viewport and open the ball valve to check the expansion plug has been properly inserted into the throat of the T. If all looks good, renewal or abandonment procedures may begin. The operation is now complete.